Hello everybody, Raven Knight here. Well, ever since I started doing my Legends video series, people have been telling me, Hey Raven, we really like the way your characters look. Uh, you got some good drip on some of these characters. What do you use, man? What do you use for colors, patterns, uh, general setup, armor pieces? What, what, how do you make your characters? And I never really answered those because I was kind of like, Eh, do I really want to make a video series just about how I make my characters? But... Apparently that's something y'all really enjoy because I released a video not too long ago about what I did to build um, Tian Si Long, my Zhang Jun character, because that was one a lot of people were asking for, and y'all really liked it. I got some very positive feedback on my Zhang Jun, and so I said, you know what? All right, we can keep going. I can do a whole series on this called How to Build, which is basically where I go through each of my characters that you've seen in the Legends video series and tell you how to make them, like what I do to build them up and how their armor and weapons and executions and all that help shape them as a character. And today, uh, by popular request, we're going to take a look at Ruth, my female warden build. If you want to hear Ruth's story, uh, you can look in the upper right hand corner of the screen or you can wait till the very end of the video where you'll get a playlist link that will take you to the Legends video series and you can listen to it. But uh, long and short of it is that Ruth was a Valkenheim born young woman who was raised by a warden and became a warden of Ashfeld. Really enjoyed working on her story and she has been a work in progress for a long time. So today I'm going to talk about how I made Ruth. We'll go into a little bit of a deep dive about what I thought about when building her. I hope you guys enjoy this. So without further ado, let's dive into Ruth. So the first thing that I wanted to uh, do with Ruth is I wanted to make her look intimidating, but also noble. So let's start with the armor sets. For her armor sets, you want the Tedious Helm, the Tedious Helm. This is a very badass looking helmet. I really think it has a very intimidating, strong presence to it. But I didn't want her whole outlook to be all spiky and dark and ugh, moody, you know? So let's go with a noble look. I moved on to the chest, which is the Lord of the Manor chest and the Lord of the Manor arms. So you want the Lord of the Manor chest and arms, and you want the tedious helm. The Lord of the Manor chest has a very noble look to it. It has that eagle on the breastplate. And even though the breastplate itself cannot be colored, I still think it works very well. Uh, Slanders in his own video said that he preferred the Warden to have that solid chest on the front. I disagree. I think you can make it work with or without, and I definitely think this is a good example of without. I think it is a beautiful look. I think it makes her both look very intimidating, but also very noble, very strong, very proud. This is uh, the way you want to go if you want to make uh, Ruth look this way. So definitely good look for Ruth in terms of armor, but what about weapons? This is the tricky part. It took me forever to get this weapon set for Ruth, but you want all three of the same thing. You want the winged victory set. Winged victory blade, winged victory hilt, and winged victory guard. These are the pieces you want to build Ruth's sword. Winged victory guard, hilt, and blade. You need these. Now, if you can't get them for whatever reason, go for a simplistic look. You can go the sheet and root if you want to, or you can go the Rogan look if you want to. Those will be just fine. But if you really want to get that Ruth feel, get the Winged Victory set. And you can. And the reason why is because the Winged Victory set's color scheme will work very well with the finished product of Ruth that we're going to have here in a second. So with all that out of the way, you now know what you need to build the armor and weapon set. So let's move on to the rest. No ornament is needed for Ruth. You can add one if you want, but there's no need for an ornament for Ruth. Uh, for material, surprisingly, iron works best. Iron is probably your best choice here. So the basic bare bones armor set is probably gonna be your best. If you wanna use a different one, you can use silver or you can use white. Those will be the white, the white iron or silver are fine. You can also use bedrock if you want to for a more rustic, um, more, um, I guess, tangy look. Like, I feel like I could rub that and it would feel rough or coarse on my skin. But really, iron is probably going to be your best. It's very easy to use. So, yeah, I, I know it sounds weird that I'd say just go with the iron, but I think it looks very good, very realistic. You know, it's dispassionately realistic. And use it for everything. So, you know, use it for all pieces. So, anyway, that's what you want. You want the iron. Now, for the traits... I mean, you want to make her female, so start with the female. And for skin color, it's not going to matter. You're not going to see any skin anyway. So these, other than the female aspect, you're going to want a female Ruth, unless you just want to go with a male look, which I guess is fine. But I, for Ruth, you want female. All right, so now for the stuff, like for the emblem, the, the, the embossings, the symbols, the paint pattern, stuff like that. 
No need for a paint pattern, symbol, or embossing on the helmet. You don't need any. You really don't need any. It would look kind of silly for, I mean, I guess you could add it if you really wanted to. Like this one, I guess, Paisley would be fine, but you do not need it for Ruth. For the left shoulder, no paint pattern, no symbol, but you want the Paisley 2 embossing, which is uh, accessed at Reputation 18, level 20. So if you're not at Reputation 19, you probably don't have this yet. You want to work your way to it. If you don't have that, you can use the Caltrops, which has gotten a Reputation 18, at Rep Reputation 8, level 20, or Paisley 1, which is Reputation 3, level 20. So those are good fallbacks, but you want Paisley 2. For the right shoulder, you're going to want the Flash Visor paint pattern, which has gotten at Reputation 26. So if you're not at Reputation 26 with your Warden, you can't get this one. There are other options you can use, but this is the best one for what you want to do. So flash visor for the paint pattern, no symbol, but the Paisley 2 embossing again. All right, sound good? Okay, so moving on to the back. Now for the back, you want flash visor again, which again is at Reputation 26. Notice the cool white, black, and blue uh, pattern here, and you're going to want enough of the back to expose for your symbol, which is going to be the Snarling Lion, which is which has gotten when you receive an outfit at Reputation 30. You need to be Reputation 30 to get this symbol. But once you get it, put that sucker on her back, okay? So definitely want the Snarling Lion as your symbol and the Flash Visor paint pattern, all right? And then for the standards, you want the left wing paint pattern, which has also gotten at Reputation 26. You need to have reached Reputation 26 for this. And then for the symbol, I use the Noble Legion symbol, which is one of my emblems. In order for you to get this, um, sometime what I can do is go through some of my emblems and how to make some cool ones that I know. But for the Noble Legion's emblem, uh, you the real key here is you want a blue color that's going to match the paint pattern that you're going with on Warden. You want a blue that's going to go with it. If you can get it from another symbol, you can go for it. But for me, the Noble Legion symbol was perfect for what I was going for. Make sure it's got a gold trim. Make sure that the symbol has blue on it that will match your overall look. That's what you want to aim for, okay? And no embossing. All right, so now you're probably wondering, what's the color scheme? All right, well, I saved this for last. The color scheme for Ruth is Foggy Nights. Foggy Nights is the color scheme that I use for Ruth. You can get this at Reputation 26. So the moral of today's lesson in terms of Ruth is you need to get your warden to Rep 26 to look like this. Rep 26 at least. The only thing you cannot get a Rep 26 is the uh, Snarling Lion symbol that you'll need for the back. But there are things you can use for the back and replacement for the Snarling Lion. And one of them should be down here. Yes, you can use this, the Winged Compass, which has also gotten a Reputation 26. You can use that as a stand-in if you do not have Snarling Lion. So, as long as you're at Reputation 26, you can make Ruth no problem. Okay? So, moving on from that, uh, the other thing that I was thinking about was in terms of feats, I use Come At Me. Come At Me is a feat where you can gain more renown while it's active and heal on kills, but you take more damage from attacks. So why do I use this one? Because the way I feel about Ruth is Ruth is this character who she really wants to prove herself and she's willing to put herself in danger to make that happen and that can be to her own detriment. So she's going to be the kind of person to get glare down her opponent and say, come at me, let's go. You know, she wants to really get into the thick of things to prove to herself and to everyone around her that she is worthy of the name Warden. She's worthy to be a knight. Problem is, when you're reckless, you make mistakes and are more uh, prone to being hit. So I thought that would be a good one for Ruth. Then Thrilling Comeback. If there's one thing Ruth is good at, it is coming back from the brink. So in this one, you recover a small amount of health upon entering revenge. So when she when the pressure's high and she's and she gets that second wind, she gets some health back. I put in Pugno Mortis because I feel like she needs some kind of a distance lobbing weapon to help change the tide of battle and to back up her opponents who are getting ganked. And then instead of Catapult, I know a lot of people like to use Catapult. I use Morale Booster, and the reason why is because I thought about it, and Ruth, even though she is a Warden and she's respected for it, she's still born from Valkenheim, so maybe the other knights still don't quite listen to her, so it may be hard for her to say, hey, I need a catapult on this spot. They may go, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I, wanna, I don't want to know if I'll help you. 
so she uses morale booster because if you're someone who was from Valkenheim but you're sta still standing alongside the Knights and you're still holding strong you may be able to encourage your allies to greater victory you may be able to push them saying hey well if she can do it I can do it too so that was how I thought about it for the feat so again for Ruth you want come at me thrilling comeback pugno mortis and morale booster awesome right okay so for executions I use deep hacking grave passing Brutality of Kamlan. And Knockout. Really, it doesn't matter which ones you use. In fact, there are times where I trade out one of them for Shoulder Tackle. Because I like Shoulder Tackle a lot. It fits Ruth because she's kind of clumsy. She um, really throws herself too much into what she's doing. That was one thing about Ruth that I loved writing. The idea that she wants to prove herself so much, she puts herself in danger. And not that she always means to. Like, they'll say, all right, Ruth go at this problem and she'll rush at it headlong and then get hurt or damaged or put herself in danger in the process so i could see her just running at the enemy like ah and then knocking them both over like oh shoot i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that oh oh i did it yay you know that kind of thing so i really thought that would fit very well for ruth you could also put in the blackstone bash because it shows off her raw strength which she'll have being from valkenheim being a viking birth so i thought that would be kind of good all right, so emotes, I gave her victory and recognition. She's going to show, you know, respect, but she's also going to be very strong-hearted and very happy when she wins. You can also use worthy or not for a paired emote. Um, I think this kind of fits. Um, you know, she wants to be a team player, work together, let's get the sword out of the stone, but it don't work. So I thought that'd be a cute one for her. And then for combat, shoulder blade and twirl. Those are the two that I use. Again, being very respectful and also showing some dominance. So definitely want to give her that dual look. There are others you can use, like Sword Point is fine, and Blade Homage I believe would be good, but these are the two that I use. Then for Signature, I use Allegiance to Ashfeld. I wanted to sell the point that even though she's born in Valkenheim, even though she's a Viking birth, she cares more about Ashfeld and she gives her allegiance to it. So she is always prepared to take the knee and uh, hold out her sword in reverence to Ashfeld and its people. She took the oaths of a warden and she's ready to prove it. So I definitely think that this is a must for Ruth. If you're gonna make Ruth, you need to have this as your signature. That's something that is a definite. And then for effects, any effects are good. You don't need any specifically because Ruth is a very down to earth character. So you really don't need any for Ruth. But now that should just about do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you guys think of Ruth? How, like, not just this video, but her story. Have you heard her story? If not, I highly recommend you go listen to it. Uh, it was something that I really spent a lot of time on and really enjoyed writing. Ruth is one of my favorite characters. In fact, you can uh, find her in my Teespring store. There's a chibi version of her that Hannah drew, and you can get some cool merchandise with Ruth on it. Um, you can be ruthless. <laughs> I make... I make bad jokes. It's something I do. But anyway, did you guys enjoy the video? Y'all think you're going to make your wardens look like Ruth now? You think you're going to have a Ruth loadout so that you can have her go into battle for you? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. This will probably be the last official video uh, before Christmas. So with that in mind, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you liked this little Christmas present. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.